guys, good morning. Uh, sorry about the dishwasher noise in the background. Thought I'd do another full day of eating video. Um, I'm trying something new. I'm upping my fat. Uh, instead of 70% fat, I'm going to be going like 75-80% fat. So, I, uh, it is right about noon. I'm having my first meal of the day. I've got some bacon already cooked. I've got some scrambled eggs that, you know, I like my scrambled eggs. Go watch my video on how I make my cheesy scrambled eggs. So that's what I'm cooking right now. I'll show you guys in just a second. Okay, so here I got, I got four eggs cooking in here in the bacon grease of seven pieces of bacon. There are seven pieces here. Um, and I'm going to eat them all. So there's a lot of bacon grease in there. A great way to cook your eggs. Gives it some extra flavor, extra fat. I also have about two tablespoons of heavy whipping cream in there. And of course, I'm going to add some shredded cheese. Nothing better than cheesy scrambled eggs. I might put some salsa on top too. Haven't decided yet. All right, here we go. Um, I had the salsa. Was gonna put it on top of the eggs. Opened it up. Took a whiff. Uh, no. Uh, it's going in the garbage. It's been sitting in there for too long. It's no good. So this is a huge plate of food. I will try and insert the macros for this. Uh, just this meal here in this clip i'm still learning how to do this stuff you guys so bear with me i'll try and insert it in there so you guys can see the ratio on there this, this is about uh 75 25 i think low low carb rare hardly any carbs so got my food here got some orange zip fizz gonna drink that working on editing my other full day of eating and vlog video so hopefully we'll have uh, my other full day of eating video and vlog up soon i'm gonna try and get it done this week who knows uh if not it'll be soon and then this one for today hopefully will be follow shortly after that if you don't already follow me on Instagram, please go do that, Jody Going Keto. Um, I tend to post more things there just because that's where I started first. Eventually, I would like to incorporate YouTube more, of course. Um, but for now, I post a lot of food updates and life updates and things there. So please go follow me on Instagram also, Jody Going Keto. All right, guys, it is now, what time is it? Almost 9.30 in the evening. I did have a few strawberries earlier, so that added to my carbs a little bit. But other than the eggs and bacon and the little bit of strawberries that I had, I haven't had anything else to eat today um, till now. I'm just now getting hungry. So there was a really good deal on some, what are they? T-bone? T-bone steak. steaks. Yeah, Ooh, steak. focus. Um, at my grocery store. So um, my husband and I are going to have T-bone steaks for dinner and salad and possibly um, avocado. I don't know yet. It'll probably, these are big T-bone steaks. The one I'm going to have is like 16 ounces. Yeah. 16 and a half ounces. So... If I can finish it. I bet I can finish it. Anyways, like I said, I'm up in my fat, you guys. So, we'll see. I just took a big old swig of pickle juice right out of the jar. Big old swig of it. You guys, remember, salt is super, super important on keto. When you are doing the ketogenic diet, okay, make sure you get your salt in. Salt, potassium, magnesium. Potassium is hard to get as a supplement. It's best to get in your food. Um, otherwise, you get these little measly potassium pills. I'll show you. Hang on. Never mind. I won't show you because um, I can't find it. We had some 
a jar of potassium, 99 milligrams. That's it. That's like nothing. That's like a speck of salt in a glass of water. That's nothing. Um, potassium you can get in most of your green foods. And you can also get it from Zip Fizz if you want to go that route, which I've been doing that. I had the Zip Fizz earlier today. Um, but salt is, I think you get, you're supposed to get five to 7,000 milligrams of salt per day. Um, anyways, an easy way to get some salt, some sodium in your diet is to drink some pickle juice. Um, we buy a lot of pickles and I just dump the pickle juice from each container, consolidate it all down into one. Sometimes I pour it in a glass. Other times I'll just drink it right out of the jar. <laughs> Take a few good swigs of that and you're good to go for a while. Usually you can kind of tell when you're uh, low on your sodium. Um, you'll feel kind of crampy and headachy. And it's also, sodium is also a great source of energy. I know Jason Whitrock and Goody Beats, they like to take the salt shot before their workout. I have yet to do that. My husband did it, though, uh, once or twice. And he definitely noticed a difference. Um, just in his energy for the day. So uh, maybe eventually I'll give that a shot. But for now, I like to drink the pickle juice. All right, I got my dinner in front of me. It looks amazing. I just put everything into the MyFitnessPal. T-Bone has a lot of protein. I didn't know that. So I'm way over my protein. Remember, I was said I was trying to stay at like 75 to 80% of my um, food come from fat, it's at like 60%. I'm really bummed. But the steak is really, really good. My husband cooked it on the grill. We are still learning to cook steaks and how to, you know, figure all that out and everything. We like ours cooked a little more. Not well done, but like medium well. So these are probably a little more cooked than most people would like, but I really like it and it tastes really good. So here we go. I already uh, took a few bites here of the steak. You can see that's it's a little dark in here, but it's probably more cooked than other people want. But look at how amazing it looks. We'll put a bunch of butter on top. It's got salt. It's got garlic powder, onion powder on top of the steak. Uh, both sides, I seasoned both sides, cooked it on the grill for a little bit. Super good. I got just a cheap iceberg lettuce salad here. Uh, I don't pick the carrots out. They're not too big a deal for me. We have an avocado here with a bunch of sea salt on it. Again, there's that sodium you want to get in. Drinking a Zevia soda. This was on sale at my Fred Meyer for $2.99 for a six-pack, which is in my area, anyway, a super, super good price. It's normally like $4.50, I think, almost $5, $4.99 maybe for a six-pack. So I'm having that. Um, let me show you guys the dressing that I put on this. It's super, super good. Hold on. All right, here is this dressing. I don't know if I talked about this before, but it is so good. It's dairy-free um, avocado ranch. My oldest daughter got this for us one time she was making dinner for us when she uh, came to visit one time and she got this dressing it's a little bit expensive normally I think $4.99 uh, for 10 ounces but it is organic and it is dairy free and all of that stuff um, this was on sale today for $3.99 so I went ahead and grabbed it here is the ingredients um, this looks pretty darn good to me uh, I don't know a lot about sunflower oil, if that's good or bad. Uh, let me know in the comments below, you guys. Uh, is sunflower oil okay? High oleic, is that how you pronounce that? Sunflower oil? I don't know. Anyways, and then here's the macros, you guys. Really good macros. Look at that. You get two tablespoons, 18 grams of fat. I'm assuming that's coming from the avocado and the oil. The egg, there's egg in there. Um, yeah, 18 grams of fat, one carbohydrate, zero sugar. I don't know. Is there a hidden sugar in this? Mm, I don't think so. I don't think there is. Anyway, so here's the macros on that. I got exactly 28 grams. I measured it and weighed it all out on my scale. So I'm getting 18 grams of fat from my one serving. 
This is, it's tangy, not your typical like Hidden Valley Ranch style. So if you're really into Hidden Valley Ranch flavor, uh, you may not like that. But I'm kind of a ranch snob. I'm picky about my ranch and I really, really like this a lot. So kudos to my daughter for getting this for us that one time and letting us try it. Uh, I'm hooked on it now. It's super good too to dip like your celery and uh, cucumbers and stuff in. Really good. No. So I'm going to eat all this up. I did not include the butter in the macros that I calculated. I, I just realized that. My husband says he did. Yeah. I guess I should probably do that to get my wow. fat ratio up a little bit more. Mm -hmm. How many? How much did you put on there? Two tablespoons? Mm -hmm. One tablespoon? Two. Two tablespoons worth of butter. So I'm going to add that. I'll figure out all the macros. Try and post it up here somewhere. Remember, I'm still learning how to do this video editing stuff. So I'm going to give it my best shot. I'll try. Can't promise anything. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I hope it helped you out in some way. You know, we don't buy T-bone steaks. Typically, it was on sale, so we got some. But just remember, keto doesn't have to be expensive. It doesn't have to be hard. You don't have to make a bunch of fancy recipes and buy a bunch of fancy ingredients. I'm all about keeping things simple and easy. But one final thing before I end the day, big cup of, see, big cup of ice water with lemon and apple cider vinegar figured after eating all that protein, which put me way over my protein macros, some apple cider vinegar might be good to help with the digestion of things. So I'm going to sit here and drink this. Watch some Goody Beats, some Keto Savage. I don't know, Jason Whitrock, you got anything out? I don't know. Does Jason Whitrock have anything? We will see. So I'm catching up. We're catching up on our YouTube Keto Vloggers. Tomorrow. So another full day of eating video. Don't mind this hair a mess no makeup again like I said in my other uh, video I'm trying to do less makeup for my skin I did find out that I have or most likely have uh, some rosacea acne rosacea yay so that's what I found out is going on with that and why my face keeps breaking out and I have the red cheeks and it runs in Irish and German blood, which I have both of, so yay for me. <laughs> Anyways, going to do another full day of eating for you guys. Yesterday was great, really good food, but that T-bone steak really put me way over my protein, you guys, 100 and some grams over my protein. So I'm really going to try and up the fat today. I'll show you what I'm eating today. Might do another little vlog along with the uh, full day of eating. We'll see how it goes. So stick around. All right, I'm going to have two of these. Hebrew National. No, these are not um, uncured. There are the sodium nitrates in there. But look at the macros on this. 23 grams of fat for one hot dog. Frank, whatever. Uh, there are three carbs, though, so mm, I guess, you know, you take a little bit of a hit from that, but this is for convenience, easy. These are big, those are big hot dogs. So anyways, I'm going to heat up a couple of these just in the microwave with some mayonnaise and low sugar ketchup mixed together and just eat it simple and easy like that. Okay, so here's what I'm doing. I'm finally breaking open our big old jar of mayonnaise from Costco. So I'm going to put probably about a tablespoon. Mm, yeah, probably about a tablespoon of mayonnaise and, I don't know, a teaspoon or so of this ketchup. You guys, I talked about this in one of my other um, grocery hauls. If you're near a Kroger and you want some ketchup, uh, this is a great one to get. It is bigger than the Heinz. 
brand and it's cheaper and it tastes just the same. There are carbs and there are sugars in this, but it is lower than regular ketchup. We don't have this all the time. This is just something every once in a while. Also, if you don't want to get your, um, if you don't want to get the carbs and sugar from this ketchup, you can also just use mustard. Mustard has no carbs. Maybe I'm, I don't know, maybe trace carbs, but it's not listed on the macros. So very, very low carb anyway. So you can also do that with hot dogs. It's also really good. Um, I have this, that looks dirty, but it's not, I promise. Um, egg cup from Easter and I, these work great. I save these every year. I get these every year for doing Easter eggs with the kids and we save them and use them for snacks. So I'm going to mix up a little goop in this for my hot dogs. All right. So I got, got my lunch here. I'm probably going to have something else that's got more some more fat in it. Got a grape zip fizz working on editing another video. My first full day of eating video. I have this one that I'm working on and I have a second one that I recorded that I haven't done anything yet with. And then I'm recording this one now. So <laughs> that'll be, that'll be uh, fun. That'll keep me busy for a while. So I'm going to eat this and I might have some cheese also. Okay, I'm going to make a melted cheese plate. I don't know if you guys know how to do this. So I'm going to show you how to do it. It's really easy and it's really good. Okay, so what you do is take your shredded cheese, sprinkle it on a plate. So you can take just one kind of cheese. You don't have to use both. I like to use both sometimes. Um, don't all the time. But... Sometimes it's good. Oh, the mozzarella likes to stick. Just sprinkle it all on there. Mix it in. Like that. Spread it out. You don't want it too thick. Well, I don't know. Maybe you do want it really thick. Um, I don't like to make it too thick. About like that. Then you're going to sprinkle a little bit of garlic salt. Not too much, otherwise it's going to be really garlicky. A little bit. You guys can't tell. There's just a tiny bit coming out of this. It's not a lot. So a little bit of garlic salt there. And then you're going to pop this in the microwave for about a minute and a half. Two minutes. Well, for my microwave anyway, because my microwave is old. So takes a little bit longer. So for you guys, if you have a newer microwave, it probably wouldn't take as long. So I put approximately one serving size, about a quarter cup uh, for each of these. So that's really going to up up the fat. 18, no, this one is, this one, <laughs> this one has nine grams of fat per serving. This one has six. So that's going to up my fat a little bit for today also. Hoping to hit at least 75% fat today and not go over my calories. Oh. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, it's kind of bubbled a little bit. And the longer you let this sit, it, that'll turn crispy. So you can see it's not that way. I like it to be crispy. Um, so I put this on a little bit too thick. But it's also good. Look at this, you guys. Oh, yes. Look at that. So good. Look at the cheese pull on that. Yeah, I could go even further, but I don't want to show you the rest of my messy house. Because <laughs> uh, it's a mess right now. I don't know. Maybe maybe to some people it's not, but to me it is. So good. It's good this way too, but I really like it crispy. So if I put this in a little bit longer, more of this would bubble and get crispy, but I just want to eat it. Hey guys, um, what time is it right now? Seven, seven o'clock, a little after seven o'clock, getting ready to go home. Um, we took the kids at vacation Bible school, so we dropped them off and went to our local grocery outlet. 
picked up some really good deals. I got this cheese. Look, I'll show you. It's a bag. $1.49. I love deals like this. Also, these Quest bars. A lot of people on keto will say, don't eat these. I think on occasion they're okay. Um, if you're strict keto, this would not probably be something that you're going to eat. These were only 99 cents. They had this one. They had the mocha one, which I we tried and it's not very good. We didn't like it. Um, this is a chocolate brownie. I got a sneeze. <laughs> Excuse me. And then they had a... Um, what was the other one? A berry one. Berry. So, my husband's eating this. Mm-hmm. And some cheese, because he loves cheese. Cheese is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to have a few pieces of this cheese, too. So, that would be... Uh, one bar is 7 grams of fat and 5 grams of protein for one little bar. I don't know how big this is. How many ounces is this? Does it say on there? Hold on. Let me see. How many ounces? Uh, 0.75. 0.75 ounces for this okay. little bar. So, I'm going to have two of these. I feel another sneeze coming on. So, I'm going to eat a couple of these. We're going to go home, fry up some, what is it? Carne asada. Carne asada style. Mm. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, beef, we're going to grill it on the barbecue, cut it up into strips. And put it in a salad. I got some little cherry tomatoes. I got um, some Kalamata olives. I got an English cucumber. I'm gonna cut all that stuff up, put it in the salad, and use that avocado ranch dressing that I showed you earlier in one of my other videos. I'll do another clip in this video also because it's so good. So here's our carne asada style. I don't know what you call this. There's a name for it. It's on the package. Anyways, here's our meat. It's some kind of steak thing. I don't know. I just seasoned this with salt, onion powder, and garlic powder. Uh, and yeah, we're just cooking it for a little bit because it's so thin. It doesn't take long to cook. I'm going to cut all this up and we're going to put it on our salad. I got the tomatoes. <laughs> I got the little tomatoes and the cucumbers um, and the Kalamata olives to go. You like to grill. To go on top. Yes. I do like to grill. I like to grill. I like to grill. And we're figuring out how to do it better yeah, now. Steak was amazing. Had yes, it was so good. The T bones. You you cooked those really I, I really was well. Surprised that you're yeah. Good. <laughs> they did. They were really really good. <laughs> I'm glad we got another pack. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah, you're going to have to grill some more. have to grill some more. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so here's our carne asada style steak, whatever this is called. What is it? This is what it is. Right there. Beef round, bottom round, thin sliced. So that's what it is. I got just a plain old, you guys know me, cheap iceberg lettuce salad there. We got some Kalamata olives to go in there. We got some tomatoes. And I sliced up a cucumber. Um, my husband and I are going to use this dressing. I'll show you the macros. There's another video um, about this that shows this. But I'm going to show it in this one too. Because look at the macros on that. That's amazing. Two tablespoons, 18 grams of fat. One carbohydrate. Good ingredients. As far as I know, I don't know about the sunflower oil. Um, comment below if you guys know. Is that keto safe or no? Sunflower seeds are okay. So I assume sunflower oil is okay. And this is like organic and all of that stuff. So there's my dog. Rocky. Sit. Good boy. Good boy. Anyway, um... So there, this is the dressing that my husband and I are going to use. And I forgot I got a, I got this um, Parmesan cheese. This was $1.99 at my grocery outlet, which is a pretty good deal. So I'm going to put that on my salad also. And I actually think I'm just, I left some of these not cut. 
because I think I'm just going to eat a side of this and a big salad. Because this stuff is good, you guys. I've been snacking on it. It's really good. Season with just salt, uh, with sea salt, garlic powder, onion powder. Cooked on the grill for just a short time because it's so thin. You don't have to cook it very long. So good. Mmm. All right, so here is my dinner. I put my salad on the side, and I'm just going to eat... I don't know how many are here. I didn't weigh any of this or measure any of this out. There's three. I think this piece goes... Whoop. There's three, and I think this piece goes with this... Wait, three total. Two whole ones, and then one with this piece here, which I think goes together. So, three pieces of the meat. Who knows, maybe I'll have another piece. It's really, really good. Got my salad here with all those yummy things on it, like I showed you guys. I'm going to eat this up. I'm also having another Zevia. Uh, just the cola flavor so far is my favorite. Cola and then the Dr. Zevia one. Also, the grape is really good. I did not like the strawberry at all. Uh, talked about that on my Instagram. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, go follow me there. I post a lot of stuff there. Jody going keto on Instagram. Uh we found the strawberry zevia at a, I don't know, it's like a Wait, whole, no, no uh, it's called Sherm's, Sherm's yeah. Thunderbird, and it's kind of a discount grocery store, like a uh, wholesale, wholesale grocery store. It was like $6, over $6 after you include the deposit for the cans. Maybe it was almost $7, almost $7, yeah. And I did not like it at all. I was super excited because everybody talked about how great the strawberry Zevia is. It's so good. Tastes like a fruit roll-up. That kind of stuff. I was really excited to get it. Tried it, and there was, like, no flavor. It was just sweet. It just tasted like a sweet carbonated drink. No flavor to it. No strawberry flavor at all. I was really disappointed. Maybe I just got a bad batch. I don't know. But still, I was disappointed because I spent oh, almost $7. That was part of the big disappointment. So anyways, the cola and the Dr. Zevia and the grape so far are my favorite. Uh, comment down below which your favorite soda uh, from Zevia is. I know they make other drinks too, like the energy ones. I think there's a different one also. Anyway, comment below and let me know which ones you like best. I'm going to eat this and... That might be it for the day. I don't know yet. Might have more dark chocolate because I do have some left. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> we found a that Enlighten ice cream at Grocery Outlet. It was $2.99. I think $2.99 uh, for triple chocolate. So... James and I are going to try that. So, we'll do a taste test. I'll include it in this video of the Enlightened Ice Cream. All right. So, this is the ice cream that we got. This Enlightened Ice Cream. Triple chocolate. Here's the... I get it turned around. Here's the macros on that. Turns out... After you subtract the fiber and the erythritol, it was what, six, whatever that comes six out to, six or seven grams of carbohydrates per half a cup. So there's, there's that. Uh, there's your ingredients. Yes, there is cane sugar in there. No, this is not strict keto, but... You know, we rarely eat this stuff. There was only one other ice cream. I don't remember what it was. It was uh, Halo Top. No, it wasn't Halo Top. It was a Fred Meyer brand one. Low oh. something. I don't remember. Anyways, that one wasn't very good. I've heard about this one. I think Keto Connect even tried this one. I don't know if they tried this triple chocolate one, but I know, I'm know i pretty sure they tried this brand and they, they liked it, I think. I think I don't remember for sure. So, anyways, we're gonna give it a try. Well, give it a try. You should try it. 
I will try it. You're going to try it first. Why? Because. Hmm? What do you think? Does it taste like chocolate ice cream or is it weird? No, it tastes like it. Yeah? Yeah. It's pretty good. It's a little different. It's not what I'm used to, but it's good. Well, it's been like... Yeah, I know. <laughs> over a year since you've had actual ice cream, so... That's good. Yeah? Mm-hmm. I like it. All right. Where's yours? Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. So funny. He's so funny. <laughs> So give it a try. Okay. I'm going to try it's it It's got an ice cream like texture. It, it feels does. like it's good. It's different than, it's more ice cream like texture compared to that other one we tried. Mm -hmm. It was more like crystal-y or something. Yeah. That other one. This one's not like that. Okay. That's good. That's good. You like it? Yeah. It tastes like ice cream. Yes, it does. It tastes like ice cream. Good job, Enlightened. <laughs> Pretty good. Enlightened. Good choice. Not something you'd want all the time. No. But well, I'm not a big ice cream person anyway. No, yeah, I know. Ooh, it's cold. <laughs> but it's good. We have to save some for the kids. Yeah. Cause they want to try it but this is good it's a good special little treat a couple bites i don't think we're gonna eat half a cup each so there's no. four servings in this you guys uh, don't okay. eat the whole thing don't eat the whole thing <laughs> there's four servings in this this is not one serving huh. mm -hmm. you gotta let it sit a little bit and get soft yeah. Soft. Softer, anyway. Softer. But it is very ice cream-like texture, and it tastes very good like chocolate ice cream. Mm. And there's little choc um, there's little chunks of, like, chocolate chips or something yeah, in it, yeah, too. Yeah, that's good. It's good. And, like, chocolate syrup stuff. Mm. It's good. All right, so that wraps up, wraps up today's full day of eating video. Oh, um... Yeah, I didn't record the macros or anything on my dinner because I didn't weigh anything. And I think with the meat, you have to weigh it beforehand, um, before it's cooked, to get accurate, um, to get accurate macros. So I didn't. I mean, we cooked a whole bunch of it all at once so there's no way I can like pick okay this is my piece and that's my piece so I just didn't bother mm -hmm. so I don't know where I'm sitting at I'm probably I have a feeling that I'm higher on my protein than I should be in my fat because it seems like we've been getting more not as fatty meats as we need to get so ribeye. <laughs> we need to get some ribeye so anyway um that's it for today. Hope you guys liked this video. Uh, hope it helped you out in some way. I know it, um, it really helped me out to watch other people's full day of eating keto videos and vlogs and things in the beginning, especially because I just tried to make it way too complicated. Mm. So, anyways, um, hope you guys have a great day. Please uh, give me a like subscribe, click the bell so that you get notified right away as soon as I post a video. And remember to keep it simple, keep it easy, and always keep it keto. Thanks for watching.